Max Richter has really revisited Vivaldi's vision of the seasons and given each of the feelings that we associate with seasons his own particular take. And so he has left the shell which Vivaldi gave us, the rumblings of thunder, the iciness of winter, and he's given a kind of nostalgic new look to those feelings, so they've become transfigured in a way and even more intensive. I think there are two challenges. The first is the time constraint, because of course the dancers learn a piece based on a version which is always the same. And when you're creating live music, you're always being different. So that's where the conductor comes in, in a sense to rein you in, to make sure that the dancers can relate to what you're doing. But at the same time, I think, you know, we're all live artists and we are reacting to what we see and what we hear. So the most exciting things can happen sometimes with things that are not completely planned. It's a huge thrill to see Max's piece that has been a part of my life now for six or seven years. I've played it hundreds of times all over the world, but I've never played it with dancers. So it's taking this wonderful piece one step further. There's a lot more Max Richter in this than people imagine. Because you hear the elements of Vivaldi throughout, and he's been so clever in the way that he's incorporated the genetic markers of Four Seasons that you can be tricked into thinking, oh, oh, well, this must be pure Vivaldi, and it's totally not. He's just used a little motif here, and he's written these beautifully um, heart-rending melodies over the top and warm, rich bass lines and um, chord sequences and used elements of minimalism and just genius the way that he has taken the piece and turned it into something totally fresh.